Well, it's it's all done. It's all said and done. Let me tell you, I, I I don't know how we got to this point to where you can say it. The Michigan Wolverines, for the first time in over 50 years, have outright won a national championship by now. Crazy. 34-13 over the Washington Huskies. Blake Corum, two touchdowns. Donovan Edwards, two touchdowns. J.J. McCarthy, not much. Michael Penix, not much. You know, after the great CFP semifinals in which Michigan defeated Alabama 27-20 to in overtime, and Washington defeated Texas in the final seconds of a Texas rally, 37-31. You know, I, I don't know how we got to this point, but we got to this point to where somehow the Michigan team that, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody expected them to win the national championship today. They did enough. Their defense did enough. Their offense did enough. They just did simply enough. And on the other side of the spectrum, of course, you have South Dakota State winning their 29th game in a row, defeating Montana 23-3 on a Sunday afternoon in Frisco behind Isaiah Davis and Mark Ranowski. Just crazy. Uh, and this is it. This is the final game of the four-team iteration of the CFP. There's all sorts of negotiations going on with ESPN right now as we speak. The transfer portal has gone crazy and everything like that. And, you know, this season is a season I did not expect to be the way that it was. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't expect the Texas Longhorns to be in the CFP. I said there was a shot you know, if the Horns didn't lose two games. And lo and behold, the Horns did not lose two games in the regular season. They only lost once. I don't think we thought Alabama was going to be here after the way they played against Texas, but yet they came back and they pushed and pushed, you know, crazy results in the Auburn game aside. They pushed and pushed, beat Georgia, took care of business there, and, you know, you know, they get, the, the Rose Bowl and the Sugar Bowl were absolutely much better than the national championship. I mean, Michigan's defense just did entirely too much, just harassed Michael Penix. <laughs> just the running game, you know, Dylan Johnson got hurt. You know, Doomsday's been banged up McMillan, uh, been banged up Polk. You know, but all honestly, all the Washington receivers at some point this year have been banged up, but some less than others. But they were all dynamic, at least until tonight, you know. And I mean, this this game got out of hand early. And yeah, yeah, Washington fought back, but you know, ultimately the pick that Penix threw late in the fourth quarter, you know, just that was too much. And again, Washington's the kind of team where you look at their season and you know, I said this in the Discord server and everything like that. We, it's like, yeah, yeah, I get it. I, I really do get it. I really get why Washington is here. But at the same time, you can see they've had way too many close calls throughout the season. You know, especially once Pac-12 play started. So, like, that they're... they're that there was going to be some craziness at some point. And even, you know, during the Texas game in the Sugar Bowl, Washington had this thing wrapped up and they decided to just lose all their brain cells and not play smart football. And that's how Texas was able to get even close enough to where they could come and win the game and take it. And, you know, Washington has had suspect run defense, you know, throughout the season. It did just show up in the game against Michigan all of a sudden. It, 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 it's it been a thing all season long, you know. So. And the way some, the wasting times Washington can get cooked and diced up 
you know, not just through the run game, but through the pass game and everything like that, you know, it is what it is. Um, Michigan, you know, for a team that really didn't have a quarterback that, you know, can be super dynamic, J.J. McCarthy did enough. I mean, this Michigan team just felt like a Michigan team that was going to go like 11-1 and or something like that, you know. I did predict that this team, you know, be one of those teams that would make the CFP this year. But, I mean, it just felt like a 11-1 Big Ten team, not a team that's going that's going to go 15-0, or rather that is 15-0, with Jim Harbaugh winning his alma mater a national championship. I don't think I expected all this. And the games that they did play that were their toughest games this year, they just absolutely smacked the dogs they smacked the dogs out of Penn State and Ohio State. You know, Penn State and Ohio State, they were barking. They absolutely barked. But, you know, as soon as the dog whistle came in, it was all wrapped up. And thus, Penn State got easily took care of. Ohio State, a little bit more of a closer game, but still, you could still tell that Michigan was beating them in the trenches. And that's ultimately what all – three games came down to was who was going to win in the trenches. And ultimately in this one, we know who has prevailed. So yeah, this is it. In the final season of normal college football, am I excited for the 12 team playoff? You already know my answer is no. Um, am I excited for any future conference realignment? The answer is no. There's teams like Delaware that's moving up the that- do not really need to be moving up, but whatever. Um, you have the whole Pac-2 situation, you know, the Mountain West, Oregon State, Washington State, you know, the whole deal with them. They're doing their thing. Uh, the CFP just does whatever they wants to do. The NCAA does whatever they want to do. It's going to be a long offseason, I'll tell you that much, until August 24th. It's going to be a long offseason, and then, you know, the season next year will go from August the 24th to January the 20th. That's entirely too long, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. And, you know, we get a rematch this game, you know, in October. So we get a rematch of Michigan-Washington. Who knows who will be on both of these teams at this point because I assume Penix will be gone. Maybe some Michigan guys will be in the draft as well. You know, it, it's just crazy. Crazy stuff, how the season has gone. And I'm happy to have been along with the ride with all of you. I mean, we we did it somehow. You know, there, it was a season that was completely unforgettable. And, man, I don't even know what to say anymore at this point because... Whew, I think I'm just more surprised that Michigan won their first title in over 50 years outright. Not shared, but completely all on their own. Man. Who would have thought this season would end like this? <sighs> until next season, college football plans. Until next season. All you sickos out there, there, there's plenty of football to still talk about. We got the NFL to talk about. Of course, I missed the Week 18 video and everything. I'll, I'll replace that with something else. We'll talk about the wild card and stuff like that and how the last couple weeks went, you know, in a couple days. So, so in like 48 hours or so, we'll talk, you know, the NFL, everything like that. But for now... Congratulations to the Michigan Wolverines. You have earned it. Your 34 to 13 victory, well deserved. And for South Dakota State, of course, also well deserved. Back to back for the Jacks as well. So that's the season. Party's over. We'll see you next year when everything changes. <laughs>